the last 10 years, the National Aquarium has been building wetlands as part of an effort to clean up the Inner Harbor. It takes a little bit of a man and a little bit of nature in putting it together. Among efforts to improve the health of water in the Inner Harbor is the National Aquarium's Wetland Project. Combining federal and state funds, Charmaine Dahlenberg and her team built an 8,000-foot floating habitat. It's the first of its kind in the United States to be installed in a tidal area. The Inner Harbor used to be a brackish tidal marsh a mixture of sea and river water. But with all our urbanization and our development, a lot of those tidal wetlands have been lost. That loss is important. Wetlands like this clean our water. The Chesapeake Bay has three major uh, pollutants that we're concerned about. Uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, and then sediment. People really flock to Baltimore because of the water source, because there were abundance of oysters and striped bass and everything like that. And, and unfortunately, we saw a lot of decline over time as um, our economy grew. That growth overwhelmed this natural resource, but this effort seeks to bring the balance of human and nature back. But how exactly does the habitat clean the water? Charmaine says two native grasses take up pollutants, and biofilms, that slimy muck you see on harbor structures, flourish. They are the food for more of nature's cleaning crew. So it's a community of barnacles and mussels and small worms, and those communities really work together to filter the water. But the key is balance. These are really bad for animals out here. So we come out and we spot check everything every day and remove trash. This habitat is already attracting wildlife, faster than the project's goal. Recently, a security guard caught this pair enjoying a different kind of nightlife downtown. We were completely blown away and, and completely surprised. Above the water and below, the return of many native species, like the Manhattan fish, that forage for food while they swim in beautiful formation. Most important fish oh, cool. in the ocean. And you can actually contribute to the research. If you see something, snap a picture and upload it to iNaturalist. That's a free open source database for nature observers. I don't expect this habitat here to solve all of Baltimore's problems with water quality, but it's one piece of that puzzle. Doing our part to keep pollutants out of the water and giving space for nature to do its part, our city is starting to be healthier for all. In Baltimore, Christy Harper, WMAR 2 News.